Hey, quick video here. I need better lighting for my video, so I bought this Viltronix. Uh, no, Viltrox VL200T video light. It's a cheap light, you can find it in Amazon. Uh, the problem is, of course, that you have to power it with uh, something that looks like this, right? And that's a bit inconvenient, especially for someone like me that, well, has access to a ton of batteries. So, I looked into the batteries and this thing uses the battery type MPF-F550s, which are Sony batteries that are super popular from 1990. And so now, I don't want to spend, you know, money on just a battery that I could just use for this one light. I do, however, have thousands of 18650 cells and so I'm gonna convert this light to be able to use 18650s. Let's do it. Doing some online research, the uh, MP-F550 batteries are 7.4 or 7.2 volt batteries, uh, which essentially are two 18650s in series. And so, in order to have the same voltage that goes in here, this one says anything from 13 to 18 volts, uh, 2.5 amps, then you would need about four of these batteries. And that's where this little holder comes into play. We'll just put that in here, we'll glue it in here, we'll connect the cables, and then we'll make this battery run. Now that we've uh, installed that, so I took this light apart before to see how it was wired and the pin on this far corner is negative and the positive is over here and the two of them, they just uh, connect together, which means that it needs two batteries to be able to run, right, in series, which they translate to four of these batteries because those batteries have two of these inside in series. So negative, positive, Positive goes to the next one here, so that's negative, positive, positive, negative, and it splits over, and then it goes over here, and then uh, that's how you wire it. Let's put the batteries on here. I'm using these cells that I bought from Tom. So it turns out I had the batteries backwards. So that's why this wasn't working. But here we go. Here's the light. Here it's at 5600K, which is sunlight. It's the temperature of the sun, right? Does it seem like it's the sun? And then uh, you can warm it up. It goes all the way to 3300K. Um, here we go. All right, this is uh, to match the when the sun's going down or when it's fully up and then uh, yeah, it's pretty bright anyways this is gonna be a light that I'm gonna use to light up my sets here when I'm working on stuff um, because the ones that I have didn't have a dimmer I just didn't do a good job on the ones that I built here it is here's what it looks like there it is there's the light, just giving light to my workbench here. So that's been another successful hacking project. Come back next time, maybe we'll do something a lot better. See you in the next video, bye.